Praise the Lord, amen, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. We give him praise today, amen. We thank him, amen, for blessing us all to see another day and all of the wonderful blessings, amen, that come with this day. Truly, we give all honor and praises to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We're not here to be saddened, Church of God. We are baptized believers. We are spirit-filled. And we believe in the word of God. Yes. We shall see Mother Alexander again. Do you believe that? Yes. If you believe that, you can praise him. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, we can praise him because God is not short as God. He that shall come, he will come. And he will not tarry. Amen. We're here to celebrate, amen, the life, the death, and the resurrection. Amen. A mother, Alberta Alexander. Amen. How many know she preached her own funeral? Do I have some believers in here today? You can preach your own funeral. You believe that, don't you? She preached her own funeral. Amen. Truly, amen. She's been a blessing, amen, in my life. Amen. And I've learned so much. Amen. From the short time that I've known her. Amen. I've got to know her for about four years. Amen. And she lived the Bible. She taught the Bible. Amen. She walked in it. Amen. And so I'm not sad because I know where she's at today. Yes, sir. I, I, I believe. Amen. She's resting in the Lord. Amen. So we give God praise today. Amen. We're giving God praise. Amen. For our speaker of the hour. Let's give him a good God bless you. Amen. Dr. James. Amen. L. Davis Sr. Let's give him another hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. He's going to be, amen, bringing us, amen, a word of encouragement. Amen. In an hour such as this. Amen. And we want to get behind him and support him in the word of God. Amen. I want to say also to the family, amen. God bless you on today, amen. I know the pain that you're feeling right now. Amen. Not long ago, amen, I was in this very place, amen. Amen. Burying my father, amen, about nine months ago. Amen. But you know what? With time, time heals all wounds. Just give him time. Amen. God will heal, amen, all Amen. I thank the Lord today, amen, because I can stand here and tell you amen, to be encouraged and to look to the hill from which you come in.
next gospel singers. Let's receive them with a good God bless you. Come on.
glad, amen, to have with us, amen, that's going to be bringing us, thus saith the Lord, Reverend Dr. James L. Davis, Sr. He is the senior pastor of Faith Christian Church right here in Austin, Texas. Let's the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And the church said, amen. amen. Give God glory. Yes. Give him honor. Yes. Give him some praise. In the name of Jesus. You may be seated. We thank God. Thank God for Pastor Darden doing such an excellent job as Master of Ceremonies. Today, to all my fellow ministers of the gospel, before I get started, I'd like to acknowledge because some of the ministers out there, they were not up here. All the ministers here, stand up, all the ministers. Ministers and pastors, stand up. We want to acknowledge all of you. All of you. Give them some love. Give them some love. Give them some love. Amen. Every one of them. Praise the Lord. And certainly, this family, I'm sure, would love to see all of the ministers that are here. And I give God glory, give him honor, and give him praise. In times like these, Mother Jacob, we need a Savior. In times like these, we need an anchor. But you have to be very sure that your anchor hold and grips. The son. I thank the Lord for my daughter and wife. Yeah. Co pastor Doris Davis, right over there. Raise your hand. Yeah. Praise the Lord. She's still the apple of my eye. The peaches of my pie. The coffee of my cream. And still the young lady of my dream. Give an honor to Pastor Morgan, co-pastor Kelly Morgan. That the end to all of you, and I'm glad to see Pastor Alexander over there. God bless you. God bless you in the name of Jesus and all of you fellow preachers of the gospel. If you just stay awake just for a little while, we'll let you go. But that's a word found in 1 Corinthians 2. And the Apostle Paul says, And I, brethren, for I came to you, came not with excellency of speech, of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And I was with you in weakness, and in fear, and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching were not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. How be it? We speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet. Yeah? Not the wisdom of this world, not the princes of this world that come to know, but we speak the wisdom of God and a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained for the word and to our glory. For none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known that they were not crucified, the Lord of glory. But as written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them unto us by his spirit, for the spirit searches. Yes, it does. Pastor Buffers. The spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, say the spirit of man within him. Even so, the things of God know no man but the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the Word, but the Spirit which is of God. That we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. For things also we speak. Not in the words of man wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches. Compare spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the thing with the Spirit of God. Hmm? For they are spiritually. This thing. But he that is spiritual judges all things. Yet he himself is the judge of no man. For who has known the mind of the Lord 
Now you may instruct them, but, but we have the mind of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Give God glory. Give him honor and praise. I imagine some may want to say, what does this have to do with somebody passing away? Peter and John went to the temple. And a lame man saw him. He knew it was something peculiar about him. To all my fellow preachers of the gospel. And he was begging them all. He wanted some money. But he said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I you. Yeah. And he stretched forth his hand. And the lame man stretched forth his hand and he said, Rise up and walk. And he did, and he walked. Sometimes we just have to speak the word. Yeah. Speak Jesus. Yeah. And the bottom line, he rose up and walked, went on in to the temple. He was praising God. And you know what he was beginning to say? I was lame, but look at me now. I believe Mother Alexander was saved. I was in a wheelchair. Didn't have strength. Couldn't do a lot of things for myself. I believe she's saying right now, look at me now. I used to be in pain. Sometimes even filled with shame. But you know what? I made a transition. But look at me now. Because you know you still have a cross to bear. And I can look back and see how I got on. For you, mortal being, still walking these earthly shows. If you get a spiritual eye, I want you to try to look at me now. I'm no longer in pain. I'm no longer frustrated. tomorrow would bring. I know who holds tomorrow. And I know who holds my head. And the one who holds my head, one day he said to John, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. Though he were dead, yet shall he live. He that liveth shall never die. Believe it, that it is. I believe mean, she's saying right now, Sister Tim, Sister Cleo, Brother Edward, the third, look at me now. Brother Richard, don't have to check on me now. I'm all right. Look at me now. Deacon Jean, you don't have to worry about her. You don't walk in the mirror for yourself. I would expect you here today. Yeah. You can say, look at me now. And thanks be to God when you have God working on the inside to bring a change on the outside. Something will happen in your life. It's important for you to keep in mind that God is ready to bless you. But you have to make a change. She said she left Broadway and got in the narrow way. And she decided she was going to run for Jesus. And you know, I like the thought that we really don't have to shed a tear for a mother. She thought always has to look at always had a happy personality. Yes, 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 yes. She was not a complaint. No, no, no. Oh, you, you think she loud on you? <laughs> but she said that look <laughs> at me now. Yes. I have left yes. the earth to show. Don't worry, man. It's all right. All right, all right. Well, the 
Yeah. Well,